Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make Two in another House Flipper video. In the last episode, we started out on this apocalyptic bunker. We did a lot of cleanup downstairs and upstairs. And then in the meantime, House Flipper came out with a Valentine's Day update. Yeah, a whole new load of updates. A lot of Valentine's stuff, some new kitchen units too, which we've been dying for, mm. some new bathroom stuff and some other bits and pieces as well. Mm. But particularly this week has been Valentine's, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody, belatedly. <laughs> and we thought, given we have this lovely big garage room with the bunker downstairs, why don't we turn this into a beautiful love nest? With a bunker downstairs. With a bunker downstairs. I'm thinking it's going to be like camouflage. Who would think <laughs> that there would be, <laughs> you know, a survival bunker downstairs when you have a bed like this <laughs> right in the middle It's super creepy your garage. to think about. Let's come in here to my love nest and also downstairs I have this creepy apocalyptic bunker. Hey, you know, for some people that's their jam and that's cool. <laughs> they, you know, deserve to be together. Let's just assume it's going to be two consenting adults using both the love oh, nest yeah. and the bunker. Yeah. So there we can see, we could go for red everything, maybe a bit of black in there. Ooh, that yeah. looks nice. I like that. Okay. Alrighty. No, I really am thinking of putting it right in the middle of the yeah, room. Yeah, go for it. Done. <laughs> And then there's like a rug I saw. There are a few other yeah, things. Yeah, should we get rid of this? This yeah. feels a bit yeah. yeah unnecessary. I mean, it ruins the camouflage. We might do some painting of the walls and redo the floor as well. Yeah, do you want to do the walls now? Now yeah. you've got the bed in place. Okay, so should we do the walls in Let's... maybe a black or red, something like that? Do I'm we even have black. black paint? Let's see. I'm scrolling. We've got no green. Um, plaster. There's also wallpaper, I guess. Ooh, there's a... Red and bloody, bloody red. red. Ooh, okay, bloody red is looking strong or black. black. Okay. Black We could is? do like an accent wall and then bloody red. Okay. Yeah. Let's put down two. What do you want to have, the accent wall in black or the accent wall in... What do you think? I, I think, think the accent, accent wall in black. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, were you going to say the opposite? Uh, I was. Well, because black is really harsh. Yeah. Okay. Which wall should be the accent wall? The one in the back, maybe, because okay. you see that coming in. Oops. Yeah, so why don't we put this over... Oh, let me get around the bed first. Why don't we do some painting with the black and see, see what it looks, looks like. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Well, that's, tr that's true because there's a window in the middle of this, so maybe it's not even going to be that much of an accent wall because <laughs> there's a window. But we'll see, we'll see. It looks pretty, it looks pretty good. Yeah. I, like it. I mean, it's a love nest with a bunker downstairs, but we're not hiding everything because we got black walls and bloody red walls. So. Yeah, so you should kind of know what you you're should, in for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When you swiped on that Tinder, you should have known. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. This is getting a little grim. But anyway, yeah. uh, nice of House Flipper to capitalize on this very commercial holiday. Yeah, exactly. I think some of the these Valentine's Day things were community made. So that's pretty cool as well. Whoa, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I, I think if I read the thing right from the game update. Mm, okay. Well, that's really cool. So yeah, I guess we have kind of previously talked about whether there's like a modding community or a thing that, you know, exists like that in this player community, but we have not actually investigated much about mods yet. Yeah, so I don't know if there are mods, but I think this is people who play the game send them to the developers and the developers put it in their official Oh, release. like as ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not crafted things. Yeah, so like community contributions. Okay, that's a cool thing. That's like, yeah, taking notes from players or suggestions from players. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. That is, dramatic. let's just go around here. Take a step back. That's our accent wall. Nice. Okay. Well, okay. we could maybe do two walls in black and one wall in, and the other walls in bloody red. What do you think? Like, okay. Maybe this wall then? Do the opposite walls or do you want to have, ooh, which other wall question. in black? I was thinking like two, the two, the one on the left so that there's a dramatic statement of two walls being black. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a better canvas to have two walls in black and then all the rest be bloody red. Let's go for it. I can't tell <laughs> how much paint is in that pot because... Are you black. in your second pot already? Or? No, I'm still in the first pot. Okay. We should probably lose those gas can things. Yeah, they don't fit with the vibe, I hope. <laughs> so because we're tasking ourselves with this extra work of making a love thing upstairs... It's possible that we're not going to finish the entire thing in this video. Yeah, we've expanded the scope of work, yeah. as often happens with building things. 
Uh, but that's fine because, you know, there's yeah. gonna, it's not just going to be a very utilitarian bunker. It's also going to be a love nest garage. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like, should we just make an ordinary run in the mill bunker or should we try to make an exciting bunker? Yeah. And we're going to make an exciting <laughs> one where somebody could come in for love and then find themselves locked in a bunker for all time. Anyway. So... But if you're going to be stuck for the apocalypse, it's <laughs> nice to have a love bed there with you, I guess. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, Valentine's Day. Yeah, what about it? It's a holiday. We don't really do too much for Valentine's no, Day. No, we actually never have. Yeah. Like, between the two of us, or not particularly ever, I think. But <laughs> it's fine. I think you maybe, like, brought flowers home one year. Maybe, yeah. yeah. And I was like, it's totally not necessary. Yeah. So I uh, don't bring you flowers anymore. Well, it's nice to have flowers just <laughs> occasionally, just to it have is. nice, yeah. like, things in the house. But, for instance, I think one time you took an orchid that my parents or your, your your mom gave me an orchid right yeah and then it died or it kind of all the flowers fell off and then you spent a really long time nursing it back to health which i actually think was a much nicer and there it is much nicer and more romantic thing than oh, just okay. buying flowers from a store um i didn't do it for romantic reasons but thanks <laughs> <laughs> gosh i was telling a story my yeah goodness. and now i feel bad that you know the orchid is that was its second lease of life. Oh wow, this is this is dark. dark. Yeah, maybe we should go for a brighter red then. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That's okay. I thought it would work out, but yeah, against black, it's a bit difficult. So there was cocoa, but that's more of a brown. There was like a red, red, and we could also fall back on pink, but that kind of clashes yeah. with the red. Sure. Okay, let's just buy one. Yeah, see how it goes. Let's see what we're up to. Yeah. So this actually, I think, that makes sense to put the red frame bed a little closer to the walls. Yeah, I think that works out fine. Okay. I mean, it's it's dramatic, but... Yeah, but that's what we're going for, so that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> we could pretend... I, don't, I think there are, like, plants and flowers in the store of this. Right. Okay. Yeah, there are plants and flowers, yeah. So we could decorate, you mean, with some plants. Maybe. Maybe some roses, if there are any. Yeah, if there are. So the talking heads are going nuts on the left. They're asking for water. Oh. Uh, yeah. We'll get to you guys. We will. We I will. mean, the thing is, they're, they're talking about... One was saying there's no furniture. One, there's a bed. One was saying there's no toilet. There's a toilet. Like There are two toilets. Yeah. So I think that they're counting it's... the upstairs and the downstairs as different spaces. And so when we're upstairs, they say one thing or certain things are missing. And then when we're downstairs, they say other things are missing that are oh, clearly on the property at large, but are just not on the different floors. Huh. Yeah. That's... um. Well, this red looks... Yeah, bright. no TV, no information, but there is a TV. Exactly. Downstairs, though. Yeah, exactly. So this red is looking brighter and brighter the more <laughs> that I look at it. But Okay, let's take a step back. I well, exactly. But like I said, <laughs> putting the bed so that it contrasts more with the black walls, I think, will work really well. And then it doesn't really matter about the red around the rest of it. So it's all yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, so somebody in comments in the last video said that we could actually look at bios for these talking heads and see like the kind of things that they're into, like rice and beans, for instance. Alrighty, so we're painting and uh I quite like that effect actually. <laughs> right. That's true. Oh well. <laughs> we kind of Well it's very hard to get everything being the same because it's you know So fast. Yeah, we yeah, upgraded fifty like percent paint. Yeah, you have to be very... it's like that. <laughs> That's nice actually though. Darn it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yes. Anyway, we'll, we'll go for the bold. I, I like the bold maybe in red. another house we can definitely try that. Try some more, yeah. Yeah, painted brick rather than just painted walls. Cause I, yeah, yeah, if I you agree screw it up, I don't know how you fix it. That's true. I guess, yeah. You basically like, one shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've set a task for ourselves. <laughs> And so I think besides the bed up here, we might go for some of the new kitchen cabinetry. Did we say that already? Yeah, well, we said there was some. We didn't say what we we're going to do with it. But yeah, I think we can definitely put some up here. I don't know where. I guess maybe on this back wall there'll be space for some. Could do, could do. A little love kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> See if it comes in red or black. And if so... It looked like it was sort of a modern wood kind of look to it. Yeah. Either way, I'm just happy to have new kinds of kitchen More. cabinets. Like, yeah. It'll be nice to show it off a little bit in this video, but we've also got future houses that we can definitely 
use that kitchen stuff in even more. Oh, no doubt we will be. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Beautiful. is that everything painted? Yes, that looks incredible. Now the question is what to do for the floor. Yeah. Now there are some rugs. There was a Valentine's Day rug. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, but I was Heart thinking carpet. maybe we ought to put that on top of like a floor in itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's go for the floor first. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's always a little bit... Uh, bay, um, maybe gray? Yeah, gray carpet. Yeah, it could do. Wait, just keep scrolling there just to make sure we're seeing all of our potential it's options. that carpet. Of course it is. <laughs> oh yeah, so carpet means a rug in this case, doesn't it? I thought... Car- I think a carpet is a rug. We want floor tiles specifically. Floor panels and coverings. Yeah, there you go. So you have that one. Ah, uh, see, there's like only three colors of carpet in the yeah. whole darn thing. <sighs> what the heck? Beige. I guess. We'll see how it looks. Yikes. I mean, it is what it is. It's a love nest slash bunker. The real business is going to be downstairs. <laughs> Well, it's not too bad, uh, but I think it would have been nice to have more options in colors for the floor. Agreed. Well, next so. update, House Flipper guys, next update. Uh-oh, what happened to our bed? Okay. Phew. Yeah, we were in carpet mode. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this paint that we don't need anymore. Okay, starting to come together. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. So, uh, one thing I did want to do is I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Because <laughs> Valentine's Day, of course. Here we have a Valentine's Day toilet in... Ooh, nice. Red Let's and... go for the black base, yes. Or raspberry. No, um, yeah, gray, yeah. Yeah, novelty <laughs> oh toilet. Oh my god, that's amazing. Hold on, hold on. I don't even think it needs any installation. Really? The, yeah wow done love it okay i'm gonna use that every time now we should tile and paint this probably ah uh, yeah okay so do they have bright red tiles we could just paint it in red it's true no one's gonna know that or it's black uh, actually okay <laughs> <laughs> black it all that bloody red could do yeah okay let's see can we get by with one we'll try it in one mm. Now, this door should probably be replaced, but I don't know if I can be bothered. See, this bloody red just looks like brown. It is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. Let's you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. But it's kind of misleading. I guess it's the color of dried blood, maybe. <laughs> yeah, with blood connoisseurs here. I think it is more dry, <laughs> <laughs> dried blood. Yeah. It's not. I had something I was going to say, but I'm not going to because it's not, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing more about blood. Well, speaking of blood, actually. Speaking of blood, we watched a really cool documentary last week. Did we? About what? cats. Oh, yes. How it was not, it was Aww. it was not just a documentary, it was a series. It was on Netflix called Kitten Rescuers. Yeah, it's a British show. Or originally aired, I think we found out on Channel 5 for Brits who know what that means with mm-hmm. Joe Brand for Brits who know who she is. <laughs> but it was cool. Yeah, it was great. It's basically just following the RSPCA, which is the Royal Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and their national charity, which gets funding from the Queen, or like, you know, Her Majesty, basically. It's endorsed by her. I don't think she oh. necessarily... Gets, she might give money to it, but it is royal. How do they get money? Um, Just donations? Yeah, it's a charity. It's okay. a registered charity. But to have to be a royal society, you have to be sponsored in some way by royalty, obviously. Okay. And yeah, it was pretty cool because they just followed cats or these rspca employees who would rescue the cats that they found on the streets yeah know, or they'd get phone calls gardens. for things look at how pretty oh sink glen oh wow From, look at all these colors <gasps> red perfect tabletop um black yep 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 black. oh i like that contrasting yeah that's interesting i like that a lot a okay. lot. A okay, lot. but it's wood on the bottom, so I guess we could change that to... I think it's only wood on the bottom, I'm afraid. But there's no black? No, there's just different colors of wood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for the darkest one, maybe? 
I'm not actually sure. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It is fine. Okay. Um, and I think if we can fit that here. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Oh, against the wall. Yeah. And the thing I thought was really cool as we did that, that, and that about the documentary was that they follow these inspectors around helping these poor little, oh my God, helping these poor little animals. And, you know, often they were strays or not had the best starts in life. And they took them to vets who then took care of them, including doing operations on the cats. And you saw the operations, which is why talking about blood and the blood of red wolves reminded me of watching that show. <laughs> you didn't have, you could look, where you're going. Yeah, you could look away if you wanted to. Um, I definitely looked away. Yeah, and I looked away for some, but I tried to... It was pretty graphic. It, yeah, I mean, you just saw the whole operation, I mean, you know, key parts of the operation. And Joe Brown, the presenter of the show, was helping out with the operation, you know, like being a, an assistant, I guess, to the vet. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. we learned stuff. Yeah. Cats need their tails. They really, really do. It's also, uh, I think it was good because they showed the cats with families at the end so that you knew that they were then eventually adopted and taken care of. And so it was it was really heartwarming and I think was a really good advertisement not advertisement, but a really good, uh, what's the word, plug for adoption, right? Yeah, exactly. Because like, you're seeing all these really, you know, beautiful, pretty cats who they didn't deserve to be abandoned in a house and the mm -hmm. owners just left and left them there with no food or anything for weeks at a time. And yeah. they're kind of, you know, getting really hungry and just really unpleasant circumstances. They didn't ask for that. Yeah. And the thought of someone being able to adopt them and give them a lovely home and have a lovely time with these beautiful cats was really nice. Yeah. So yeah, definitely made you think like, why would you not adopt uh, when these poor little animals have no place to go? I mean, it's controversial, the whole adopt, don't shop kind of right. mentality. I mean, I totally understand why people want to get certain pure breeds of yes. Yeah. animals like i'm not going to talk negatively about people who have their reasons we thought we would have to explore something like that because i thought i was pretty allergic to cats and then it turned out that i was able to get used to the cat fur yeah the you know. dander stuff yeah. yeah um and so we we went ahead with adopting but we definitely considered should we get like some sort of pure breed that's meant to be hypoallergenic, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think what, whatever you decide to do, I definitely think it's worth considering. Mm -hmm. Can you adopt and is that, could that work out for you? Mm -hmm. Because it is really nice to think that you can give these yeah beautiful little animals uh, a place. I mean, if that doesn't work for you, you know, that that's fine. But I definitely think it's worth considering. Don't just dismiss it out of hand. Yep. Cool. So do we need a refrigerator, maybe? More water. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> we do yeah. need a refrigerator. Well, I think specifically what they want is those big bottles of water. I so know. We we'll probably... give it to them. We will. Yeah. Up here in the love nest, they'll get that too. Do any of them come in different colors? Well, there was that red refrigerator. It's just expensive. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah. Done. <laughs> Black. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. you got to, I don't know. Splurge. Splurge on Valentine's Day. Splurge on your Day. boo. Yeah. Alrighty, so that's a fully functional That is looking kitchen. pretty cool, yeah. Okay, water. Having, Having one's, one's own source of energy. We've got that downstairs, they you silly more, people. They want more, they want more. Probably go crazy without furniture. We need lights too. It's a bit there are lights in, in the ceiling. Oh. There are. Okay, we should turn the lights on. Please, yeah. Yeah. So, oh. I mean, it's, it's, it's romantic. not the most inviting Curtains. love nest. Curtains. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> as soon as it starts to get dark curtain something in red what do you want mount i think they're short and... oh we want narrow i would bet because these windows are rather small oh yeah. yeah sorry you're right you're right yeah so we watched that on netflix and another thing that we've been watching is will smith's documentary series called one strange rock yeah which is with a bunch of astronauts and Will Smith all talking dramatically about things to do with the Earth and <laughs> how oxygen comes into the world and how the Earth yeah. will form, that kind of thing. And it is pretty cool. It's just... Uh, okay, so basically it is a National Geographic documentary series. It has that National Geographic stamp on it. Mm -hmm. But I think it was directed or produced by Darren Aronofsky, who did a lot of movies like... Uh, what was the most famous one? Uh, Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's done more since then. The Wrestler. Then. Right. He's pie, done... Life of Pi. No, not Life of Pi. Pi. Yeah. He's Just... done some experimental type stuff. Yeah. Um, and the I one think with that... Wolverine. What? 
Didn't you do Wolverine. the one with, the, one with Wolverine? Hugh Jackman? Well, what movie? You know, when his wife, who is married... Um... <laughs> What's the plot, dude? Oh, this... oh, 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 the fountain. Yeah, I can't describe the plot yeah, because yeah, there yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. much of a plot. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> so he... Oh, see, the red curtains versus... Should we maybe paint that one black? This little wall yeah, here just right curtains. there. Yeah. So... Yeah, well, where is I going? Yeah, so he's made a bunch of these like experimental type movies, and I think he tried to tried to bring that experimentalness to this National Geographic documentary. So it looks really good in places like they've done some really interesting camera work and some CGI work, but then you don't quite trust some of the science that they're talking about because it's like, are they showing me something CGI or is it something real? Like, is this footage that they got from a real event or is this something that they just put together in you know a computer yeah exactly and sometimes they spend a long time talking about not very much right get a whole bunch of pretty footage right talk about something different and, and then you don't suddenly, actually learn anything yeah there's supposed to be some science somewhere right but it is very pretty and we have learned a few things mm -hmm. um which i'm not going to try and explain <laughs> now because it's you know i'll gobble the hell out of it Okay, so what else we need up here? A TV is, I think, one thing uh, that they've they been always asking want for. a TV. Yeah. You've got to have a TV in your, lo in your love nest. <laughs> <laughs> for, yeah, reasons. For reasons. <laughs> <laughs> hanging TV. I love the hanging TV. It just yeah. goes anywhere apart from on that wall, of course. Could go over here. No, I was thinking, yeah, on that big blank wall there, maybe. Yeah, put it low down. Sure. Okay, and now um, water. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> These guys want water up here. Let's give them water. Mm -hmm. Water container. Yes, come on. I, I just really want to see them say, uh -huh, and they, they want, that's, that's done it. That's what I needed. They want first aid kit as well. Yeah, we can do that. Wait, the one that says, I will die here without water just went up. Like, do they need that means a good thing. full water? They need food supplies. No rice or pasta. Oh my lord, guys. We're going to go downstairs and you'll become happy. Um, we've spent 20 bucks on those things. That's enough. Without electricity or gas, a month of sleeping on the floor. Okay, we've got beds, people. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to do for our love nest? That's, I think, the big question right now. I'm sure that there's quite a lot we could do for the love nest, but you don't want to do a lot for it. What do you it. want to do? No, no, come on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are we just sit in the dark? See, they want chairs. They want more furniture. Okay, okay. <laughs> furniture it is. Chairs it shall be. Oh, that, that sort of... This yeah. one? Well, hold on. Yeah, that could work. I think go for the red, just because. Go one in red and one in black. Okay. Right in front of the TV, maybe? Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> we might have to move the bed. I uh, don't want to move the bed. That's not no, I'll move the bed. I'm only, I'm only joking. There's gray. Yeah, that, that works. Okay. Yeah. Move the bed. Just a smidge this way. Yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah. Shame you've got I me. Mean, it's good to have more pieces of furniture. It's not as romantic. These are these are cozy chairs. Yeah, maybe two people could share one. We could put a little rug. Right oh yeah, the love those. rug. Yeah, I want the love rug. Yeah, what? Going back to Valentine's, what haven't we done? Oh box yeah, the chocolate, chocolate box. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just put one. Yeah, I on think that works. That's perfect. Nice. <laughs> okay, what are the love stuff? The rug, the shelf. You wanted to put a shelf in. Shelf. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe this is going to go well on the black wall. Yeah. Um, oh, I think it's just the floor. Floor, floor shelf. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Here? Yeah. Freestanding. It's a freestanding. Okay. Fair enough. And then the rug. What color? Oh, maybe red because the floor is so light. Mm. Yeah. Here? Yep. I think I would turn it so that the heart part is. <laughs> These are the little details. Which way? Do you want the heart? Yeah, yeah. And then put the chairs maybe like on either side of the rug. It's like yeah. a really nice plush thick rug. I know. That's really pretty. Where should I wash? My dude, there's a whole bathroom. Yeah. There wash, really is. Wash in the bathroom. That's where you wash. Furniture, not necessary. It wouldn't help me to survive. Literally, weren't you just asking for furniture to sit on? Where can we put our supplies? In the, the shelving, in the basement. This is the love nest. If you don't want to use the love nest, you don't have to. <laughs> but Why isn't there any furniture? Oh my gosh. <sighs> just okay. this amount of water. <laughs> okay. 
Breathe. 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 Have we exhausted the Valentine's thing? No, we have not, because what about this beautiful piece? Oh, that's true. And there was that other bed, too, but I'm not, is this even necessary for these whiners? No, but it's necessary for me. Okay, fine. Because when you come in, look, you come in, you've got this beautiful piece. Okay, well, I would say use a different color, maybe a uh, gray. Oh, white. That's not bad, actually. When you come in, you've got this beautiful piece. <laughs> look at that. Lovely. Okay. Now... No TV, no information. Literally, there's a TV. There's a TV here. There's a TV. Having ones... Okay. We're going to you know go downstairs yeah. and see what exactly. happens. Exactly. Exactly. No, that is... Upstairs is dead to us. <laughs> Please open. <laughs> we were just talking run about away, Stephen run away. King earlier in I'm this thinking, video. I'm thinking for this one. Bye. I'm thinking <laughs> for this one. Maybe we'll just do a quick clean. Just get everything <laughs> clean, clear it out, and then sell it ASAP. All right, well, we'll see what happens.